Hello, 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 and welcome to the phone booth, the Verizon Center, downtown Washington, D.C., at a 20,000-plus capacity crowd. Get off my screen. <laughs> Here for WWE SmackDown on this first Friday night in April 2014, and we are starting off with a bang. We've got our truth in the ring taking on the Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Incredible match already, and our truth is taking it to him, surprisingly. Big time missile drop kick from up top right after the bell there. And our truth is just not letting him get a move in edgewise here. Stalling vertical suplex there. And now our truth is going to start dancing, but the rattlesnake's going to take advantage there. Big back elbow to the face. And we have a nice jam packed card for you this evening. And it will finish off with a match in the main event between our current world champion, Alberto Del Rio, and his number one contender. Of all people, Andre the Giant of Ted DiBiase's Million Dollar Corporation. Mexican money versus American money. And a big guy from the Alps. It does not get any cooler than that here in the universe this year, guys. Oh, and there's a big running big boot from R-Truth to Stone Cold there. There we go. Stone Cold fighting back now. Belly to belly suplex tossing him down to the ring. Stone Cold with some stomps now. Looking to widen that mud hole in R-Truth's chest. Now he's going to throw R-Truth into the ropes, back reverse there, knee to the gut, R-Truth is down, and now Stone Cold with a huge elbow to the back of the head, he's in control of the match now, the cadence belongs to the Rattlesnake, oh but R-Truth up, landing punches, spinning heel kick, and now Stone Cold looks dazed, R-Truth has him, lifts him up for a, I don't even know what you would call that ladies and gentlemen, Fisherman Suplex Clutch Jawbreaker thing, and now R-Truth Going with a side headlock, but Stone Cold reverses out into a Russian leg sweep. R-Truth is moving slower now than he was back in the beginning of this match when he had control. His speed is what's going to help him overcome Stone Cold here. But now Stone Cold with his big punches, and the Texas Rattlesnake is alive. He's got that little clutched sleeper in, into a Russian leg sweep there. And now Truth is down, but he, Stone Cold misses that elbow drop, and Truth to his feet. Connects with three punches, goes into a side headlock, and he's got the single arm DDT there. Stone Cold on the ground, Truth lifts him up, and he's got him in a surfboard stretch, but he lets him down almost immediately. The match continues on here, ladies and gentlemen. A big club to the back there from our truth Oh, and there's a big time running bulldog from out of nowhere, single arm, and now from behind, he's got him in the camel clutch. He's got it locked in, but Stone Cold manages to get himself out of it. Our truth systematic. Again, avoiding any kind of fast attack here, which is what he truly needs. And now Stone Cold has him again, clubbed to the throat there, and R-Truth is on his back. And there's the mud hole stomping from Stone Cold Steve Austin. Rolls him over onto his stomach. Big time knee to the face. You know that brace is not going to feel good. Now for the pin, we've got one, just a one count, and R-Truth kicks out. And now Stone Cold, a huge clothesline. R-Truth is down, getting another mud hole stomped him. <laughs> stomped it in by Stone Cold Steve Austin. And another big time knee to the face. Stone Cold mounting a huge comeback here. And now he heads out of the ring. He's heading over toward the announcer's table here. But he changes his mind and gets back in. And there's R-Truth launching him off. Oh, and R-Truth apparently kicks the ref. <laughs> and now they're both outside of the ring here. Oh, and R-Truth with the big head scissor right there. And he screams to the crowd, what's up? The Verizon Center answers. And he hits his finisher, and Stone Cold is busted open outside of the ring. He's bleeding right by the base of the announcer's table here, ladies and gentlemen. We might have to get some medics out here, and R-Truth is just back in the ring looking on. The ref was starting a count, but Stone Cold is back to his feet now. And here's R-Truth. Another big time stalling vertical suplex in the center of the ring there. And now, oh, he was trying to pin him, so he thought. And we've got a full Nelson applied from our truth to Stone Cold in the center of the ring. Stone Cold's got to get out of this. And he does. The arms are broken down. And our truth misses a kick, and Stone Cold stuttered our truth from out of nowhere. Our truth is laid out in the corner of the ring, and Stone Cold is going to drag him. Stone Cold is bleeding, but our truth is the one that looks dead right now. And that's the three count, ladies and gentlemen. Stone Cold wins here in your opening matchup. Steve Austin victorious to start off our first edition of SmackDown here in the wrestling year 2014. Our truth looked like he had a good chance to win this match early on and then left Stone Cold dead outside of the ring after hitting his finisher. But then 
He just, as he did a couple times earlier in the match, Truth took his foot off the gas pedal and let Stone Cold back into it. And you know that stunner is going to hit at any surprise point in the match. So that's your first one down, ladies and gentlemen. We've got four more tonight. We will be right back with another match after this message and celebration from Stone Cold Steve Austin. See you in a bit. And here we are for our second match of the evening in Washington, D.C. on SmackDown tonight. Some Divas action. Caitlyn taking on Lita right here on SmackDown. We saw on Monday Night Raw how Natalia had a surprise win over the current champion, AJ Lee. And now each of these women as well is going to be in pursuit of that title. And they're not going to try to let Natalia get too far ahead in the uh, power ranking. So this should be a good, brutal match. And Caitlyn is definitely making it so, so far. That's going to be a big-time pump handle gut buster there from her. Not a... An orthodox Divas move, but Caitlyn is uh, not an orthodox Divas. Into the corner goes Lita with a huge clothesline from Caitlyn there. Ref has to get out of the ring, out of the way, I'm sorry. And a big belly-to-back suplex from Caitlyn. You see that in Olympic men's wrestling. But Caitlyn is a powerhouse, a beautiful powerhouse, but a powerhouse nonetheless. And Lita may have bitten off more than she could chew here, but now she seems to have reversed into a little bit of a face buster there. And another one on the ground. She's just going to unprettify Caitlyn if she has anything to say about it tonight. Caitlyn trying to go for a forearm but misses. And there is a big-time Hurricane Rana from Lita to Caitlyn. This is Lita's forte here. The speed, the flexibility. Caitlyn, the strength. This should be a good match. There's a reverse DDT from Lita to Caitlyn. And there's a nice drop kick to the gut. Caitlyn on the ropes now. Being whipped around by Lita into the corner. And now Lita has her by the hair. Lita going up top in a DDT clutch. There it is. Tornado DDT. Caitlyn spun into the center of the ring. Huge move from Lita there. Stomping her on the ground. And a backflip into a body splash there from Lita, who is now completely in control of this match. Caitlyn had a spot early on. Lita hitting some punches now. And Caitlyn just cannot come back at all. Lita with a huge back suplex twisting around and just throwing Caitlyn down. And this will be another backflip into a body splash. And Lita making a huge statement here on SmackDown. And there's a big roll over DDT there from the former girlfriend of just about everybody in the Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy, Engine Christian feud of the late 90s, early 2000s. But now Caitlyn back on her feet. Lita misses a dropkick. Caitlyn taking advantage. Another belly to back suplex there. Crawling over. And now Lee, uh, Caitlin, sorry about that, into a surfboard stretch, has Lita down, but there's a rope break called by the official in the ring. Caitlin forcing her up to her feet, forearms to the back, and another belly-to-back suplex, just slamming the torso of Lita down into the ground every chance she gets. And another surfboard stretch here. Caitlin very consciously staking out the abdomen of Lita. She's going to make her submit or she's going to make her just sit on the ground for a three count one way or the other. And here is a pin. We've got one. Just a one count though and Lita crawls out of it. Forearm. Kick to the gut from Caitlin. Caitlin now back in control. And that is a big time scoop slam from the wannabe Divas champion into yet another surfboard. But she's too close to the ropes. She's getting a little too antsy with that now. And a running shoulder tackle from Caitlin to Lita. And now Caitlyn setting it up. She's got Lita up on her shoulders here. Lifts her up into a gut buster over the knee. And now Caitlyn, she's beckoning Lita to her feet. She's taunting her. She's daring her to get up right here. And Lita is staggering around the ring. And now Caitlyn from behind into a full Nelson lock. Sit down slam. And she's got the legs stretched back. She's got the legs stretched back. The arms, I'm sorry. Those aren't legs. <laughs> but Lita manages to get out her arms. Not what Caitlyn was going for beforehand. And now Lita manages to reverse into a hip toss. And now has Caitlyn in a side headlock. But Caitlyn into a full um, ugh, Russian leg sweep. Not a full Nelson anything. Caitlyn from up top. Huge body, sla body splash from Caitlyn. Lita down. One, two, just a two count. Just over a two. The match goes on. Oh, and Lita reverses a kick from Caitlyn. And now Lita's fired up here. She's got Caitlyn on her feet. Staggered. Got her in a DD. There it is. The twist of fate from Lita. Caitlyn is splayed out in the corner of the ring right now. That was a twist of fate. Lita dragging her into the center of the ring. Caitlyn is out. Oh, but just a one count and Caitlyn manages to kick out of it. Now Lita working from behind. Big time back suplex to Caitlyn. Caitlyn getting up obviously in pain after that. 
And now Lita dragging her to the center again. We're probably going to see another attempted pinfall here. We have to see how much Caitlyn can take in this match. And there's another kick out just after one. Lita's got to do more work, but there's a big twisting neck breaker from Caitlyn to Lita. And now stomps on the ground. And now Caitlyn rolls her over, but Lita pushes out. And a big tilt to world body slam from Lita to Caitlyn. Off the ropes, body splash from Lita. Huge high impact move. She's going to drag her and attempt to pin her again, but in the time she's dragging her, she's losing out on a chance to win. There's just another one count from Lita to Caitlyn. Now Lita throwing Caitlyn into the ropes and over the ropes. And we're going to get a suplex back into the ring from Lita. Amazing form from what is admittedly an older diva here. And now she's got her own surfboard stretch locked in, and Caitlyn's got to fight out of it. Oh, this could be it for Caitlyn here, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like the grip is slipping, and there it is. Lita has to let go. But both of these women are hurting, and Caitlyn is dazed. Pushes Lita off of her. Now working from behind, up over the shoulder, into a body slam there. And now Lita is the one who is down at the mercy of Caitlyn. Oh, and now Lita from behind. Reverse twist of fate, neckbreaker, John Thing. And getting pulled again is Caitlyn here. This could be the end. This could be the pin right here. Oh, but Caitlyn out after a two count. Oh, and this is going to be the twist of fate from Lita out of nowhere. Caitlyn looked to be setting up a spear there, but Lita countered into the twist of fate her way. And now Caitlyn has to be done. This is it. This is going to be the pinfall here. Two. Oh, a two count. Caitlyn kicks out after two. And she flies out of the way of the body splash. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And now Lita is the one that's getting called to her feet by Caitlyn. And there's the spear from Caitlyn. Lita is dead. We've got one, two, three. Caitlyn wins the match over Lita in impressive style after a runaway spear. Either one of these women could have won the match. An incredibly wrestled match here from both Caitlyn and Lita, pursuing the Divas title held by AJ Lee, who herself is pretty embarrassed after a loss on Monday night to Natalia. This is anybody's title here, and heading into Extreme Rules, it's, it's a picture that anyone could come away with, that, that ugly pink butterfly belt. But after tonight on SmackDown, Caitlyn is definitely the most impressive diva in the land. She overcame two twists of fate from Lita. She hit her with the spear. She worked the body. She kicked out of everything Lita threw at her. And she earned a victory here in our second match on SmackDown. We're coming back very soon. We've got three more matches tonight. We've got Edge taking on Kofi Kingston in a one-on-one -on -one match, followed by a submission match between Alberto Del Rio and Andre the Giant, and we're finishing off the night in a Falls Count Anywhere bloodbath between Bill Goldberg and Ted DiBiase, who wants his million-dollar corporation to take over the blue brand. I can't speak the blue brand, but we'll be back for match number three. See ya. And match number three is underway with a big time flapjack from Edge to Kofi. We are in front of 20,000 screaming fans as two of their favorites are taking each other on here in the ring. Kofi Kingston and Edge. And Edge out of the gate with a lot of intensity. And instead of attacking a dazed opponent, he's mocking him. And Kofi almost capitalizes, but Edge reverses. Kofi now pushing him off. And Edge runs right into a little bit of a pushdown from Kofi there. Kofi working from behind. Edge into a snapmare. They're reversing each other pretty well off the bat here. Two very gifted technical wrestlers. But there's a big-time hanging clothesline from Edge. And Kofi is now down on his back. Kofi, though, lifts the legs and reverses out into his own stomp. Edge rolls up. And now Kofi with a whip into the ropes. And on the rebound. Down. There's Edge with a float over DDT. Kofi Kingston down now. As I mentioned, two fan favorites here. Not sure who to root for in the crowd, but based on just overall match experience, Edge has to be the one that most people are taking home with a smile on their face now. The rated R superstar getting thrown over by a little bit of a monkey flip from Kofi there out of the corner. Kofi with a headlock now, but Edge into a back elbow on the rebound. Rolls Kofi over onto his stomach, but Kofi presses out of that. And he hits a huge flying clothesline the way only Kofi Kingston can do. And now Kofi seems to be in control here, working from behind on edge into a big-time back suplex. A little bit of a stall there. A little bit of a show-off from Kofi Kingston. Show of strength, not something he's known for. But he hits a huge drop kick to edge, and now working from a side headlock. 
A little bit of a pump handle clutch into a gut buster right over the knee there. But Edge with a clothesline to the abdomen of Kofi works his way out. And now they're hitting each other. Kofi, though, Edge blocking a punch, working from behind now. Great back and forth chain wrestling here from these two. Reversals everywhere. And Edge rolling him over again. Been trying to set this camel clutch up for a little while. And he's got it locked in. But Kofi hits the rope with his left heel. And Edge has to break the hold. Now Kofi blocks a punch into a headlock of his own. Edge throws him off. And gets him with a float over DDT again. A momentum changer for sure. And now Edge across the ring. Get him on. But Kofi is fired up now. They're going to charge each other. There's a big time clothesline from Edge. Lots of energy in the ring right now. And Edge again going for that camel clutch. He's got it locked. Kofi is crawling for the ropes. The ref is blocking him from the ropes, though. But now Kofi, unbelievable, standing up into a backdrop. Edge is down, favoring his knee. Might have hurt that a little bit on the come down there. But now Kofi, he's got a little bit of a comeback going on. And there's the flying clothesline, and Kofi's in complete control of the match now. Edge is at a loss. And now there's Kofi. The big time leg drop across the chest, both legs. And we've got a pin. We've got one, but just over one. And Edge is up. And now Edge. Oh, Kofi setting it up. Bringing Edge to the ropes. But Edge throws him to the outside. And now Edge backing off. And a huge backsplash misses completely. Kofi rolls out of the way. They're both outside. We've got the count from the ref in effect here. And now Edge with a suplex clutch locked in. There's a stalling suplex. And there it is. The suplex indeed. And a big spear from Edge on the outside. Big spear from Edge on the outside. And he could let Kofi lay there, but he's not going to. He was going to lift him up, but Kofi now. Punch from Kofi Kingston into a kick, and Edge counters. And Kofi with a flipping kick to the top of the head. Unbelievable athleticism. And now Kofi heading back into the ring. Edge follows. And there's Kofi with a big time monkey flip. Edge on his back by the ropes, and Kofi's got the boom. And Edge is slowly making his way to his feet. This could only mean, is it going to be? He's got it locked. Trouble in paradise. Hits it cleanly. Edge is down. He is out. You got to think missing that giant backsplash from the rope did not help here. Oh, but two and nine tenths. Edge kicks out. And he's got a huge clothesline. Edge is going to come back here. There's a pin. One, two, three. Oh, just two. Just two. I'm playing with the volume down. <laughs> Edge dodges a kick there from Kofi Kingston. So they both had miraculous comebacks from pinfalls. Kofi into a huge Frankensteiner there on the momentum assist. And now he's going to lock in a submission, an arm lock. He's got the arm and the neck, and Edge cannot crawl out of this. He has to fight his way out. Kofi's got it locked in, but he lets go. He loses his grip. Edge is struggling to his feet now. Kofi in a headlock. Edge... Kicks him out, slams his face into the mat. And now Edge is feeling it. He's slicking his hair back. And there's a side headlock into a double chest slap from Kofi. And he's got the arm wrenched. A little bit of leverage with his leg across Edge's chest there. And Kofi to the outside now. And he misses a frog splash. Misses a frog splash. Get off my TV. Misses a frog splash from the ropes. And Edge stopping. And Kofi misses a clothesline. And there's another big time DDT from Edge. He's got to put this match away. Kofi keeps on coming back. He's got to do something here. And now he's going to lock in that camel clutch one more time. And Kofi is nowhere near the ropes. He can't crawl anywhere. Edge locks it in. And that's it. Edge wins by submission. Kofi gives up. What a high octane match. I truly thought. Kofi Kingston had it after that trouble in paradise. Edge misses the high impact maneuver off the ropes to the outside. Kofi then, though, misses his own frog splash off the ropes later on in the match. These two just went back and forth, gave it their all. The crowd here in D.C. absolutely loved everything they put on display here. And now we got to go home hoping that these two want to fight each other again sometime soon. This is just one of those gem matches that you don't expect when you first look at the card. But once it comes together, I mean, the spear from Edge outside, this match had everything except explosions and random death but you know this universe is just getting started and i'm just getting used to playing with cutscenes, so we'll get there kitties but in the meantime edge a huge win by submission that camel clutch finally got locked in and now edge is leaving the ring after the match celebrating for the crowd on the outside and 
kind of looking confused. Here comes Caitlyn, victorious just moments ago, and she's going to lead Edge backstage. What in the what? And here we go, guys, our fourth match of the evening from DC. Oh, unbelievable! Immediately into a German suplex goes the World Heavyweight Champion, Alberto Del Rio, against Andre the Giant. This is a submission match between these two. And just know that Andre is indeed the number one contender for the belt here from Alberto Del Rio. You've got Mexican Money taking on Money Incorporated, and it's going to be all month long because these two, it has been confirmed, oh, missing a little elbow there, do indeed have a match for the belt at Extreme Rules. But Andre the Giant needs to beat Del Rio by submission here today, and Del Rio with a huge belly-to-belly! -belly. How is he lifting him? Del Rio's had matches against Giants before. We know that he and the Big Show have a storied history of rivalries. But how is Del Rio doing this to the world's biggest athlete, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant? I don't get it. And now working from behind another back suplex. This is crazy. I came back from commercial break still in awe at the fact that Caitlyn came down and escorted Edge away from the ring on his last victory there. But this is unbelievable. Del Rio just beating down Andre the Giant here. A giant, you know, he's he's a bit slow to move, but Del Rio, unbelievable strength. Now Andre seems to have the match under control. Just remember, the only way to win is by submission here. And there's Del Rio reversing out of a clutch from Andre. Del Rio now in an awkward little headlock into another back suplex. This is unbelievable. Del Rio's quads, I'm going to say it now, they are going to be hurting tomorrow regardless of the outcome of this match. Oh, but there's a big punch from Andre after a reversal. Now, he's working from behind, and he's going to have that nice inverted atomic drop down onto the right leg of Alberto Del Rio. And now he's got the legs wrapped around, and Andre has him in that little bit of a Boston Crab there. He's got both legs locked. Del Rio is crawling toward the rope. Andre lets him go, losing grip there. Huge chop to the chest, but Del Rio gets half a counter in there. But there's another chop from the Giant, and he lets him go on that one. Big time body slam from Andre. And now he's stomping in the ring. He's ready for this. Now working on the head from behind. We've got that little bit of a nerve pinch, but there's a rope break from the official getting himself involved. These two men are borderline evil here at the top of the SmackDown food chain. Huge chop from Andre the Giant, sending Del Rio down. And now Andre forcing him to his feet. Del Rio's a bit fired up, but Andre from behind. There's the atomic drop we know and love. And now Andre, a huge drop with the bootay there. And now signaling Del Ber uh, Delberto, Del Rio to his feet. <laughs> and now Andre working. I forget his finisher. <laughs> there we go. And now here comes Andre off the ropes, Del Rio down. And there's the big body splash. And now all Andre has to do is lock in a submission and he can take this match home. But Del Rio reverses out. Andre working from behind now, and he's got the full Nelson applied. Del Rio's got to break his way out of this. Full Nelson is applied. Del Rio looks like he's fighting, he's fighting, he's fighting. He's a very resilient son. <laughs> well known for getting out of many submission holds and then locking his own in. And he wrenches the arms of the giant down here. Unbelievable. Now Del Rio from behind. And he's going to have another back suplex. Unbelievable strength from the champion here on SmackDown. And he's going with punches all the way up to the head of the Giant, but the Giant comes right back unfazed, pushing Del Rio away into the corner. And now the Giant grabbing Del Rio and bringing him toward the center of the ring, rolling him over onto his chest, but Del Rio pushes out. And the Giant with a huge kick to the gut there. And now he's getting the knee lift right into the chest of Del Rio. And now working from behind is Andre the Giant. And there's going to be another inverted atomic drop onto the right leg and now the giant looking to get that submission locked in and we're gonna have another camel clutch here we are close to the ropes though can del rio get there before oh no the power is too much del rio taps out is knocked out and andre the giant wins by submission over the champion in a non-title match here if this is what the next month is going to be for alberto del rio he's going to have to hire some help because by the end of this he's going to be taking on all of the force of King Kong Bundy, Andre the Giant, and Ted DiBiase here on SmackDown. It's going to be a hell of a month for the champion. And unless he gets some sort of favorable stipulation at Extreme Rules, he does not stand a chance against Andre. Andre just beat Alberto at Alberto's own game in a submission match. And there's nothing else that can be said about it as Andre celebrates in the ring 
The crowd here nonplussed, admittedly, but these were two bad guys in the ring, and after a good guy fight like Edge and Kofi, what can you expect? Main event coming up soon, guys. Be right back. And it is main event time here, ladies and gentlemen. Bill Goldberg taking on the Million Dollar Man in his tux, Ted DiBiase, in the ring. That's what I get for setting random uniforms. Um... <laughs> This is a Falls Count Anywhere match between these two. Ted DiBiase, the leader of the Million Dollar Corporation, and he has stated, heading into this season of the Universe Mode here on YouTube, that his intention was to take over the SmackDown brand with his Million Dollar Corporation, backed by the powerhouses of King Kong Bundy and Andre the Giant, who just beat Alberto Del Rio in a submission match of all things. And the DiBiase here is just in complete control. There's Goldberg finally getting a reversal to go his way. And this is going to be a great match to end the night on here. As mentioned, the stipulation is falls count anywhere. Pin submissions can happen anywhere in the arena. And there's Goldberg lifting him by the leg into a huge spine buster. Unbelievable. Goldberg all kinds of fired up after that power move. And now DiBiase struggling to get to his feet. He is now in the corner and Goldberg... Throwing up up on top of the turnbuckle. And now Goldberg backing off, running at him. Big boot, but he misses. DiBiase now off the top to his stunned opponent. Huge double axe handle. Great reversal from the million dollar man there. Might have gotten his tux wrinkled. And now Goldberg begins fighting back. Big time punches from the former American football player. Former WCW champion. And here in the WWE, this 2K14 universe mode. Looking to be one of the top dogs on SmackDown. But he's got to start by taking out... DiBiase here tonight and putting an end to this million dollar corporation takeover bull crap. There's a nice big back suplex from Goldberg waiting for his opponent now. He's going to run at him. Big time double elbow drop. And now DiBiase throws him off of him. Goldberg was thinking of what to do next. And he took too long. DiBiase big time inverted atomic drop there. Knee to the groin. Always a heel move. But Goldberg with a scoop slam dropping DiBiase on his back toward the center of the ring. And stopping away at the chest of DiBiase. And Goldberg now, he's got a suplex clutch, twist around, throw down. And now Goldberg, waiting for him to get up. DiBiase is stumbling around. Oh, this is going to be it. He's got the clutch locked in. It looks like we've got a jackhammer, ladies and gentlemen. DiBiase up, Goldberg around, and down. And DiBiase is splayed out in up to the side of the ring there. Goldberg going to drag him to the center now. Get away from those ropes, even though you don't really need to. Two, just a two count. DiBiase manages to kick out. Goldberg still in control here, slamming him off the turnbuckle. And DiBiase is just getting thrown around now as Goldberg has a submission locked in. He's got the face locked, the knee in the center of the back there. DiBiase, if he could just kick his heel back and hit the rope, he could break it, but he's not quite tall enough. Should have worn the tucks with tails there, Ted. Ha <laughs> ha. And now Goldberg throws him down, backing off. DiBiase up, Goldberg at him. Big belly-to-belly -belly suplex, throwing him across the ring. Unbelievable strength from Bill Goldberg here. And now Goldberg throwing him to the ropes and out of the ring. This is where the match is going to start to get ugly, ladies and gentlemen. Goldberg working on the leg of DiBiase. Oh, he's got that Achilles lock applied. And DiBiase's got to break it. He's got to break it. He does manage to get out. Goldberg loses his grip, and they are outside. Remember, no counts here, ladies and gentlemen. This is false count anywhere. And Goldberg into a huge throwdown spine buster. Unbelievable. Unbelievable from Goldberg. Stomping away at the hand of Ted DiBiase. And now throwing him into the corner barricade there. Not quite where he wants him to be. Lining up something, but God knows what. And now Goldberg reversing into a punch there. And he's dragging DiBiase around. Wasting a bit of time here, but DiBiase... Oh, and that's a big time laid out scoop slam from Bill Goldberg. And he's just... Keeps throwing him into the barricade. There's a big punch to the face, though. And he's got a series of punches now with DiBiase up against the barricade. Fans, got to get out of the way. We can't see what's happening here. And another big-time scoop slam. And now he's picking him up again. And another! Just laying him out. One after the other after the other. Unbelievable here from Goldberg. And he's taking complete control of the match. Now DiBiase doing his best to get away here. DiBiase's going under the ring, but Goldberg does not give him the chance to. Going to throw him across. 
And he's trying to set him into the corner. Don't really know what's happening here. But now DiBiase throws him off. Oh, and now Goldberg going Gorilla Press into a spine buster. Unbelievable from Bill Goldberg there. But Goldberg's not done yet. He's letting him know. This is this is a statement here for Bill. We're going to have something. No, nope, he decides he doesn't want a weapon apparently. That was odd. But Goldberg into a big belly-to-belly -belly on DiBiase. Just throwing him around like a rag doll now outside of the ring. And he's got him right in the center. And now Goldberg has it locked in. He's got him pushed up. This looks ugly. Spear! Goldberg spears Ted DiBiase through the barricade in this Falls Count Anywhere match. Unbelievable. They're into the crowd, ladies and gentlemen. DiBiase is done. He's probably never going to wear this tux again. It's It's got to be the tux's fault. He's got to wear tights. And there's a big-time elbow drop from Goldberg. He's not done yet. He could just pin him now. But he's not going to. That would be too easy. But DiBiase into a huge power slam out of nowhere. Can he fight back in this match? Only a one count there after the power slam from Ted DiBiase. And now DiBiase throwing Goldberg into the ring. Unnecessary here. But a big elbow to the forehead using that height disadvantage for leverage. And DiBiase on his way back out now. He is searching for a weapon again. Goldberg not going to let him. And now DiBiase throwing Goldberg across the ring into the barricade. And DiBiase is down. Comes up with a baseball bat. And Goldberg wrenches it away from him here. Swing right to the top of the head of Ted DiBiase. Unbelievable. He's got to be out after that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, but he's not. He kicked to the gut. And he trips Goldberg up on the rebound. And he's going for a pin again. Goldberg is just... Taking a bit of a long time to win this match here. But now DiBiase is fighting back now that weapons have been incorporated. And he keeps on going for pinfalls, but Goldberg keeps on kicking out after one. And Goldberg now completely at the whim of Ted DiBiase. He's back in the ring. DiBiase running around. Now Goldberg in the center of the ring. And he's going to whip DiBiase across. And now he's running at him, and there's a shoulder tackle into the corner. And Goldberg has him by the ankle, slamming him down right onto his back. Oh, and DiBiase from behind. He's got the sleeper hole locked in there. Goldberg's got to fight his way out of this. This could have lost the match for Bill here. Oh, but DiBiase loses his grip, and now Goldberg seriously hurting after that. Goldberg now being placed up top by Ted DiBiase, who goes up after him. Single arm toss off the top. Ted DiBiase in complete control here. Goldberg kicks out, though, again after a one count. The match has gone on for too long. One of these men has to put it away. Oh, and Goldberg, he's got him set up. It's going to be another jackhammer, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. He's got him up. Slam down onto his back in the side of the ring here. And now Goldberg backing off. Waiting against the ropes. He's not going to spear him. He's already had one through the barricade. This is going to be too much. But he has spear. Spear. Unbelievable. Ted DiBiase down. Goldberg explodes up. Rolls in for a pinfall. We've got one, two, three. Bill Goldberg defeats the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. And that's going to send us off the air tonight, ladies and gentlemen, from Washington, D.C. As I got word that Edge and Caitlin just left the arena in the same car. But back to the matter at hand here. Goldberg, impressive win over Ted DiBiase, throwing him around, taking complete advantage of his strength here. The spear through the barricade gets the crowd going completely here in the Verizon Center on the way home. Unbelievable main event, unbelievable show. Andre the Giant causing Alberto Del Rio to submit. Edge in a great win over Kofi begins apparently dating Caitlyn. Crazy, crazy night here from the Verizon Center in Washington, D.C. And 20,000 plus fans are very happy. And here we are before we go off the air post-match. Bill Goldberg celebrating in the ring as only he can. Ted DiBiase obliterated in his tuxedo. A little bit cocky coming out here in that. And if only for tonight, the million dollar group, we could say. Money Incorporated. They are uh, down one man. We'll see you next time, guys. We'll be back for Raw on Monday night. And here we are, guys, just after SmackDown went off the air in Washington, D.C. Just going to do a quick recap of everything and do our 
indie roundup as well. We'll do that at the end of every episode of SmackDown. On the show tonight, we saw Stone Cold beat R-Truth. Nice stunner out of nowhere. Caitlyn with an impressive victory and an impressive match against Lita. The two fought well. Same thing said for Edge's victory over Kofi. Andre the Giant, a surprising win over Alberto Del Rio in a match that definitely favored the smaller opponent. And then Goldberg with a huge win over Ted DiBiase after a spear through the crowd barricade. So that's going to get us through Friday night. We're going to advance here, move right ahead one day. That leads us up to... Our first IWC, we'll get right back to the card here, but we're going to go check our news on WWE.com because Edge's success has caught the attention of Caitlyn, and we can indeed confirm that the two aren't dating according to their respective Twitter handles. Also, something funny that you will not see because I have to cut entrances out so YouTube doesn't hate me. Um, I don't know if anybody else playing this game this year has noticed, but Ricardo Rodriguez, when he's in the ring about to announce uh, Alberto Del Rio's entrance, his social media handle is Caitlin's Twitter. Look it up. Uh, maybe that's only my game, but it was pretty funny. And the other bit of news from this week on SmackDown, competition between the Goldberg and DiBiase is heating up, and 20,000 people in Washington, D.C. can verify that fact. So getting out of the news, we're just going to check out the uh, current rankings over on SmackDown after that. Del Rio... And Andre are heading toward hell at Extreme Rules. I can just put it that way. And Caitlyn is the number one contender for the Divas Championship. Those are your little changes there. Now we're going to head into tonight's card on IWC and do a quick roundup. We've got Ultraman as Black taking on Max Smashmaster in one-on-one -on -one right off the bat here. And Max with the win. you got to think the Devastation Corporation kind of helped him out there a little bit. And over here... We've got a tag team match. Strange tag teams being assembled. We've got Frightmare and Mr. Respawn taking on Troy and Blaster McMassive. Frightmare, the normal tag partner of Ultraman is Black. <laughs> Blaster McMassive, the normal tag partner of Max Smashmaster. And in this match, we have the team of Troy and Blaster McMassive coming out on top. Troy got the pin over Mr. Respawn. Impressive and interesting. Rivalry match here. We've got Paige taking on Tamina Snuka in independent Divas action, and Paige gets the win. We've got a one-on-one -on -one match and a rivalry between Soldier Ant of the Colony and Arctic Adventure Ant of the Colony Extreme Force. Get ready for some ants, kids. It's going to be a great year. And, oh, the Colony Extreme Force of the win there. Ar Arctic Adventure Ant gets a win over Soldier. And in a, the last match of the night, we're going to have Nick Jackson of the Young Bucks taking on Mark Briscoe of the Briscoe Brothers. And Mark comes out with the victory in a one-on-one -on -one match. Two bits of news to look over after the proceedings. And we have champion Cassius Ono, who I might as well make Chris Hero at this point, considering real-life news. And Soldier Ant are set to face each other in a title match soon. That is interesting. I'll show you why in a second. And then competition between Nick Jackson and Mark Briscoe is heating up. Let's check out those rivalries that we have set up there. Um, the ones on SmackDown, we're pretty much aware of. Those last three matches are our rivalries. Over on the Indies, this is interesting. So we do have a rivalry between Nick Jackson and Mark Briscoe. We do have one just between Paige and Tamina. And for the Independent Wrestling Championship, we've got Soldier Ant taking on Cassius Ono at the end of the month. Now, the interesting thing about that, if we check our champions out is that Soldier Ant is already the minor champion of the IWC. If he manages to put away Cassius Ono, that, that's amazing. He'll be the first double champion in my universe, and then there are not even matches I'm playing. I mean, remember, to get out of the IWC and get an NXT tryout, it's all about how high your momentum bar is. And if he gets the matches that a double champion gets, that's a greater chance for him to move up. And here we see the, uh, the changes we have in the, the power rankings for the main belt in the Indies. Arctic Adventure Ant moves up right behind Soldier. We've got Blaster McMassive and Max Smashmaster Max Smash Master with huge jumps themselves. And Troy with a nice big jump being on that winning team goes up from number 21 to number 6. And everybody else all the way down to Frightmare and Ultra Mantis Black coming out on the losing side in their respective matches. So that's going to wrap up the indies. That's pretty interesting. I do just want to take a quick peek. It's not going to matter, but just to show you guys. Just want to look at everybody's momentum. You see the green bar when the blocks are green all the way up to the right with two a maximum of two gray left over. You've got to have either 
one or two gray left. Yeah, that's what we're going to do here. That's when you get a chance at a tryout for NXT. And every win moves you up. Every loss moves you down one block. So it's going to take a little while for anyone to get there. But if Soldier Ant can get some good wins against Cassius Ono and actually win this title, Soldier Ant may very well be the first person called up to NXT. That would be a lot of fun. But he did lose the Arctic Adventure Ant tonight, so there's that. And that's going to do us for tonight, guys. That is the little bit of an indie roundup. We are going to probably play through Raw immediately. And yeah, I'm just going to simulate through that. And we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.